LiDAR is an amazing technology. It has myriads of uses. The visuals it produces are often quite compelling. So why don't we see more creative uses of LiDAR? Hi, I'm Charles. Welcome to Automata Poetics. This episode is about LiDAR, specifically the LiDAR that's found on the iPhone 12 Pro and what you can do with it if you take it into After Effects. Many of you may not be familiar with LiDAR technology. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging, and it works in a similar fashion to sonar and radar, but instead of using sound or radio waves, it bounces infrared light uh, at the environment or objects and the information it receives, uh, it builds three-dimensional models in real time. LiDAR has hundreds of uses. You may think of LiDAR in terms of self-driving cars or archaeology or architecture or perhaps engineering, but are there creative uses? Are there ways to use it to make art? Many of the LiDAR applications that just scroll by rely on different types of LiDAR uh, equipment. Uh, some of it, for instance, things that are shot from the air require LiDAR that can travel a great distance. Obviously, what's included with the phone is not that type of equipment, and the apps that uh, are written for it take advantage of what the iPhone can do. Let's take a look at some apps available right now for the iPhone 12 Pro that allow you to use the LiDAR sensor in a number of ways. I downloaded and tried a number of apps, some of which can do absolutely amazing things. One of these apps is called 3D Scanner. And simply, you just hold up the phone, running this app, and scan around the room, and it will build a model. The model, after it's uh, rendered, looks something like this, and allows you to explore the space it's a truly impressive technology that it can create these models in a matter of minutes with this level of detail. Another app that I'm using is called Record 3D. So here is the night vision app on the bottom with a regular shot from my Canon DSLR on top. And what you'll notice is that while the light changes as I go from room to room, the LiDAR doesn't rely on the light at all, and in fact, often things that look dark look light, and it can yield some interesting results, as you'll see. As I walk into the dark room, it sees more than I do, including when I stub my toe on whatever I just kicked. And as it has a limited reach, you'll see it just sort of disappears off into the distance. But objects in the foreground are rendered with an uh, interesting uh, effect. Some of the apps that I used in the making of this episode yield a different result in the final rendered saved file than what you see in real time on the screen. I often preferred what you see on the screen, so I made a little rig. This is the rig I made to hold my iPhone in front of my uh, DSLR. Quick trip to the uh, hardware store, buying a few brackets and nuts and bolts, allows me to put it at the right distance. Uh, I'm using an extension tube so I can get the focus this clear. And here are some of the results of shooting off that screen.
I've had a lot of fun exploring some of these LiDAR apps and uh, using some of them to create short videos. One that I created using the LiDAR camera app uh, yielded a short that I call Alien Landscapes. And it is of downed trees represented by this mesh. Another short video that I created, I called Color Map Jet, after the setting in the Record 3D app that yields this kind of color and visual treatment of objects in my living room. When it came time to create the visualization, I realized I had a number of ways to capture information from LiDAR that had different types of uh, visuals. And maybe if I brought those into After Effects, I could treat them in some way and then uh, bring the whole thing together in Premiere, which is what I ended up doing. Ultimately, in After Effects, I ended up using an effect called Mr. Smoothie. This is not an effect I use often, but in this case, it yields an absolutely wonderful result. Taking information that is grids and colors and turning it into a psychedelic set of swirls. Then I shot some scenes with myself with the Record 3D app and ran that through the Mr. Smoothie filter. The result was a little bit like an Oscar statuette coming to life. And when all those pieces came together, they created this visualization. I hope you enjoy it.
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it. See you again real soon. Everyone stay safe.